Today, I was welcomed to the beautiful campus of the University of Saskatchewan, where I had the privilege of meeting Dr. Rana Mustafa, a visiting professor at the College of Agriculture and Bioresources. She is also a Syrian refugee who chose the U of S over many job offers around the world in effort to escape the conflict in her home country. My name is uh, Rana Mustafa. I am a food scientist. I came from Syria three years ago. I'm working uh, as a food product development consultant with uh, Peritide Diversified. Uh, because of the war in Syria, I decided to leave. Uh, I spent five years during the war and uh, finally I decided to save my kids and my career. But I chose to come to Canada, not to any other country. I was working at uh, a university in Homs in Syria where the war started. Uh, it was a horrible year. At the end of the first year of the war, the faculty where I was teaching was destroyed. And I cannot explain to you how it was extremely dangerous to go to work and to teach and to continue our uh, activity during this uh, conflict. So in the second year of the war, a fire in the refinery near my place uh, started suddenly because of the uh, conflict. I just left my place with my two kids and we never get back uh, to our to my home. Uh, my uh, home was destroyed uh, six months later. I decided at the end uh, to move from Syria because there is no future to me there. I thought that in Canada I will have a very nice uh, opportunity to continue my career and I will also um, have a safe place to live. And I had um, a job offer from the University of Saskatchewan and I got others but when I googled it because I have never heard about Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan it's uh, like the world reserve uh, for food. I was fascinated by uh, this province and I wanted to come. I am a food scientist and I have that passion to uh, create food products. And here we have that uh, tremendous opportunity to have crops create different food products. So this is a unique opportunity that I think we cannot find it elsewhere. We cannot forget what happened. We, I just decided to live with what I had before, but I wanted to build a new memory, a new life. It was extremely hard. I spent one year to be able to talk even. Now I am, you know, even I'm getting emotional when I remember how hard it is, it was. Um, so with that time, I could live with those memories, but I tried to build a new one. People helped me a lot, supported me a lot. Life became totally different, and I'm so glad for that. <laughs>